Let's say uh, okay. two home games this week. Thoughts or yeah. So the Pioneers are on a pretty good stretch. They've won their last three straight, and I believe uh, at least four of the last six, eight of the last eleven for sure. Uh, it seems like the team is really starting to put things together as you approach the stretch run of a conference play in the tail end of the regular season. We've been trying to, to really point towards the, the last part of the season to really be playing our best basketball, and I think uh, that's certainly the case now on the road as we've gone on the road a couple times and won some, some close games and um, opportunity this week to come back and play at home on Wednesday uh, versus Mount St. Joe and then Senior Day on Saturday against Defiance. Great send-off uh, on Senior Day for Bo Shu and, and Cooper Theobald, both that have had really terrific uh, careers as, as pioneers have given us a lot on the court and off. Um, you know, two, two uh, paths that probably have, have been a little different. Cooper playing almost every game. Well, he started every game he's played in uh, for, for his four years and then and then Bo Shu going through a uh, ACL rehab and, and turned into really had to work hard to get back to where he where he is today and uh, appreciate all their efforts um, to get this team into second place in the conference with a chance to, to hopefully uh, do well in the conference tournament. There's been some fun adventures this season. Uh, your team ex enjoyed an extended trip on the road uh, last week due to some weather related conditions but you've also had some interesting challenges this year trying to integrate both a large amount of talented veterans from last year and you've also had some big time performances from incoming youngsters what's it been like trying to infuse everybody into this year's lineups game after game well we knew that we were gonna it was gonna be a positive because our depth was so good going into the year um, at times during the year, it was challenging to make sure that we got everybody the amount of time on, on the court that they they really needed. Um, as, as young guys play more, they just get, get more comfortable. And uh, a couple of our guys that, um, that, that came in, we haven't been able to, to get them the, the good quality minutes that they, that they needed probably to, to really shine at their highest level. But, um, you know, Luke Schroeder coming in and, and starting at the post was a was a big benefit to us. And then uh, him being out for the last uh, couple of weeks here with, with an illness allowed us to, to have some other guys uh, come in and step up and get, get some more minutes. So because of our depth, we've been able to, to get by one or two games or three where we had either an injury or an illness or, or something else. And I think that was, uh, as we put the as we put the schedule together, we knew it was going to be a difficult schedule. Uh, but I, I wanted to make sure that we were doing everything we could to prepare for our conference uh, regular season and tournament. I think we did that. This year, your team's seen its fair share of highlight reel plays, particularly at the end of games. Uh, most recently punctuated by that thrilling victory on the road Saturday at Manchester, in which Gabe Schmidt hit the game-winning three-point shot on a wonderful zippy inbound pass from midcourt by sophomore Michael Jefferson. Your team's now 5-1 and one this season in games decided by five points or less. Why do you think your team is finding ways to pull out games in very tight situations on a consistent basis? I think there's a couple reasons. One is we've got veteran guys that, that are in in the game at those particular times. Um, and, and we've been in, unfortunately, way too many close games and, and have had a little practice being in those situations, and um, I think they have a confidence level now that they can that they can get that done. The other is we've spent a tremendous amount of time in practice uh, in late game situations, side out of bounds, underneath, going long. Uh, nothing that we've done at the end of any of these games is something that just happened. You know, we we've practiced it, and I think that that blends itself to another jolt of confidence for for those guys because they know that the the stuff will work if we execute it uh the pass from jefferson to to gabe was right on the money um put the ball was in the air before gabe was even turning around so the timing was perfect and it and each of the other the decoy came off and uh, was so good that they double teamed the the guy that we wanted to get out of the the play and then spencer mckinney 
getting a great back screen to free Gabe was, was something that only a few of us probably saw. But uh, it's really gratifying to see uh, we took a punch right at the very end of the game, uh, you know, 2.6 seconds. Uh, they, they make a three to go up, and then we're able to get it to half court, running the play that we wanted, and then getting the play that we wanted at the end of the game to, to seal the victory. Finally, four big games left in the regular season. They're all big ones leading off with Mount St. Joseph at home this Wednesday. What's it going to take for this team to play well down the stretch and get those crucial wins as they look to maintain that stronghold on the second place standing in the HEAC? Our rebounding has been really, really good this year. And uh, it's one of those things that, that our transition has has been has been started by the, the rebounding that, that we're doing. And, uh, the better we rebound, the faster our transition and the more, more easy buckets we're able to, to get. So I think the, down the stretch, we've got to continue to, to really look to our transition offense game to, to make strides and, and get some easy points. And then, and then being able to sit down and, and guard at the crucial times, cr crucial steps during, uh, during the game to make sure that um, every shot for the other team is as difficult as it as it can be, um, because we've been able to rebound so well, we need to be able to, to get those stops and, and get the early offense. Lots quickly approaching us on the way. Any final thoughts or things to be on the lookout for here uh, as we wind down HAC regular season play, Coach? Well, we're, we're battling. We're one game out of first place in, in the Heartland and, and battling to get that, that top, uh, top seed. Um, it's going to be a little more difficult, obviously, with Hanover getting getting the sweep over us. But having the sweep over Rose Holman gives us a, an edge. So, uh, love to be able to get into that that two spot and, and solidify a, a first round bye, and then be able to go to the conference final four with a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. Thanks a lot for your time, Coach. We'll continue to track the Pios and the four final games here. All huge looming ones with postseason implications. Best of luck to you and the Pioneers. Thank you very much.